Just a machine that measure the growth of a nanowire of zinc and oxygen the reaction between them and it's nanotechnology so we, we, want, we would like to use the, the effect of the piezoelectric uh, it's just a, tra a transformation from mechanical energy to, uh, to electro electrical energy and we need something to measure the length of this nanowire and this is a low cost uh, machine instead of the big microscope from industry that, that, that they are very expensive we have just used a, micro, a digital micrometer, a DC motor and just Arduino 2, Arduino 2 and to implement this machine and then interface it with a computer and software like MATLAB. It's a new way, it's a, actually a low cost way to measure with a, a small peak over there the, the length of this the nanowire that we need to know how how much they are long because if they are so long we can press them and uh, have a lot of energy some ampere, micro ampere and uh, from that why we use the Arduino is a very good question because it's very easy to implement it sometimes we have seen other boards that uh, sometimes are probably more powerful or, or not, but the, the very easy is the software, the implementation software. So that's why we can use it. And we can use it for a lot of projects like this one, the solar panel for optimal tracking, uh, actuator with uh, memory, shape, shape memory load. Uh, so it's our normal board, we use Arduino. One, Arduino Uno, Due. Uh, stuff from electronic stuff to software stuff because we are automation engineering so we control all the uh, old models and, and the problem is implement them in software so it's very important to have uh, easy user-friendly software like Arduino it's why we use software and other stuff we have tried to use our board but they are very very difficult to implement in software Almost one year, not, not really a year, because it's, a, a, it's an internship with uh, the electronic engineering, the automation engineering, chemical engineering, because there is uh, a lot of uh, knowledge about it.